Welcome to Lavelle Clater's Projects with a Purpose. We are on Word 62, where we will customize our watermark using text and pictures. A watermark is a faint text or image that sits behind the text on the document, letting the reader know there is information they should pay special attention to, but the watermark does not distract them from the content. Let's get started. If you would like to follow along with me, please go to the description and click the download and you'll be able to follow along. Before we get started, what I wanna do is change the view of the document to one page. So right now, if you look to the bottom right side of my screen, it says I'm at 100%. So we're gonna to go to the View tab, and in our Zoom group, we're gonna click on one page. So now I can see the whole page. But also notice, if you look down to your left side of your screen, it says I have page one of two. So if I scroll down a little bit, you will see that there are two pages. I'm gonna scroll back up. Now, in order to add a watermark to your document, you're gonna to have to go to your design tab and then all the way over to your right, to your page background group. We're gonna click our down arrow for watermark and once we do that, we have some preset watermarks that we can use. I'm gonna scroll down so you can see the rest of them. So we have drafts, we have samples, uh, we have ASAP, we have urgent. Now you can choose either one of these. You can do one that is diagonal or you can do one that is horizontal. So if we do the horizontal, what it's gonna do, it's gonna go straight across. So let me do Control P for print. And this is the way it will print on the document. Let me make this a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna hit Escape to get out of this. Now I'm gonna go back to my Design tab all the way over to my right, to my Page Background group. I'm gonna click my down arrow for Watermark. Now I have this watermark on my document. If I want to remove it, I have to click on remove watermark. So now you'll see that the watermark is gone. I'm gonna do control P for print. And you're gonna see that the watermark is gone. I'm gonna hit escape to get out of this. Now I'm back to my design tab, over to my right, to my page background group. I'm gonna click my down arrow for watermark. I don't wanna use any of the presets. I wanna customize my watermark. So I'm gonna go down to custom watermark and it's gonna bring me the dialog box, uh, printed watermark. Now in this top section, it allows me to add an image. And then this section down here where it says text watermark, it allows me to add text as a watermark. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. You can click on the words or you can click on the circle. Um, this is called a radial. Now right here, you can change the language if you wanted to. You can also, uh, where it says text, these are where those presets are. And then also if you wanna change the font, now the font is very limited for watermarks, so you're not gonna get as many options that you would get if you went to your font in your font group. So you're very limited. Also, you can change the size. I highly suggest that you don't do that because what it does when you add the watermark to your document, it knows exactly how long it should be to fill in your document. And then also you can change the color, but I highly suggest that you don't do that because you don't want your words to take over the document. You just want something there faint enough so that it'll get the reader's attention. So anyway, if I want to put a word in here that's not listed, all I have to do is click my down arrow. I'm gonna tap my back button on my keyboard. And normally when you add a watermark, you wanna make sure that you turn on your cap lock. And I'm just gonna type uh, Microsoft Word. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And by default, it's gonna make it diagonal. 
So now you're going to see Microsoft Word going diagonally on the document and you'll see this is how it's going to print when it uh, goes to the printer. Now in my upper left corner of my screen I have an arrow pointing to the left. Um, that is your back button. So it will do the same thing as if you were to hit your escape. It'll take you back to where we are right now. Now I'm going to go to my design tab over to my right to my page background group and click the down arrow for watermark and I'm going to go back to custom watermark. Now if I want to change the font I can click the down arrow and choose whichever font I'm interested in trying out. Unfortunately when you're doing it this way you don't actually see what it's going to look like until you hit apply. Now once you hit apply then you can kind of see what the word's going to look like. Um, now, the cool thing about just clicking apply, you can make as many changes as you want. Uh, let me do this purple and I can do apply. I can make as many changes as I want whenever I click apply. So I'm going to click my down arrow and I'm going to choose 120 for the font size. I don't know what that's going to be. I'm going to click uh, apply and see how that's way too big. So, like I said, I usually keep the auto and I'm going to hit apply. And then that font is still a little bit too dark. Um, I don't know what the default gray was. So now we have that default gray. And I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to do control P for print. And so now I have these words going diagonally. Now I'm going to hit my back button in the upper left corner. I'm still in my design tab all the way over to my right to my page background group. I'm going to click my down arrow for watermark. I'm going to go down to custom watermark. And uh, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to have the layout change to horizontal. I'm going to click horizontal and I'm going to click apply just so I can see what it's going to look like. And as you see, it is going this way. And it, it doesn't really stand out as much as if you have it as diagonally. Um, let me go ahead and close this. I'm going to do Control P for print. And see how it doesn't really stand out. So I really like mine to go diagonally. I'm hitting my back button in the upper left corner. I'm still in my design tab. I'm going over to my right to my page background group. Click my down arrow for watermark. I'm going to go down to custom watermark. So now that I've showed you how to add the words to your document, I'm going to show you how to add a picture as a watermark. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on picture watermark and you're going to notice that the circle, the radial now has a dark circle in the middle. I'm going to click on the button that says uh, select picture. Um, let me do that again okay so you're going to get this window that opens up and you have options of where you can grab your image from you can grab it from your computer you can grab it from Bing and in other words it is an internet search and or you can um, grab it from your OneDrive now um, I'm gonna do uh, Bing just for GP so I'm gonna click on Bing and then I'm actually gonna type in kittens Sorry, I missed the I in there. Okay, and I'm gonna press my enter key. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna choose this first one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click insert. And I'm gonna keep it with the auto fit. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And you're gonna see that the image is very faint in the background. But when I do control P for print, see how you can vaguely see it just a little bit. And let me make it just a little bit bigger. So it's very, very vague that you can see it. Now, uh, let me hit my escape key on my keyboard. Now, in my design tab, all the way over to my page background group, I'm going to click the down arrow for watermark. I'm going to go down to custom watermark. And as you see right here where it says scale, it's um, set at auto. And then also the check mark for washout is selected. We're going to take the check mark off. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and see how it makes the image um, more in color. 
and let me close this and then I'm gonna do control P for print so you'll see how dark it is now I'm gonna hit my escape key to get out of it I'm gonna go to my design tab my page background group to the right click my down arrow for watermark and I'm gonna choose custom watermark and then what I want to do I'm gonna put that check mark back in washout and I'm gonna hit apply and so now it's just gonna be nice and faint in the background now also if you want to change the size of the image in the background if you go to scale you can click the down arrow and let's try 200% I'm going to go ahead and click apply so it made it really really big so I'm going to go ahead and click close and I'm gonna do control P for print and you'll see you just see the two kittens faces so you can change the size all right I'm hit my back button in the upper left corner I'm in my design tab all the way over to the right to the page background group I'm gonna click the down arrow for watermark I'm going to go down to where it says custom watermark and actually I'm going to change the watermark to an image that I have on my machine I'm going to go ahead and click select picture and every now and then my computer does that where it, it doesn't connect um, then I'm going to click on from a file and I'm going to do the vertical logo and this is the logo for my business I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to click apply and so now I have this faint image in the background but as you see it's way too big and the reason why it's this big is because when we put the image in we didn't change this back to auto so I'm going to click auto and I'm going to hit apply and so now it nicely fits on my document I'm going to go ahead and hit close I'm going to do control P for print and now you will see the logo kind of faint in the background of my document I'm gonna hit escape to get out of it and then again remember if you want to remove your watermark the only way that you can do that is to go to your design tab all the way over to your right to your page background group you are going to click the down arrow for watermark we're going to go down to where it says remove watermark and then it will remove it from your document and I'm going to do control P just so that you can see that it is removed from the document so I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today I truly hope that you learned something new and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode have an amazing day